Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to our first day of work in the summer of 2020. It became summer over the weekend. Look at this. Not a single cloud in the sky. Unfortunately, the work week must come. I know. <laughs> Try to hold on to that weekend as long as possible. That was a Monday will come. fantastic weekend. It was. Look at them old mutt trees, man. Them things are growing like a like crazy out there. What's funny is they'll grow out of the stump of an old one. Yeah. We're not done. <laughs> 83 degrees it's supposed to be out here today, That's little nice. woman. And then 86 oh, wow. tomorrow. Yeah. That's about what it was. It was it was mid 80s on Friday. Mm -hmm. That felt pretty warm actually. Just because we're not used to it yet. Yeah. But the worst is yet to come. It is. And they're saying it's gonna be a smoking hot summer. Yeah, hot one. Oh, that some pretty blue skies. Alright. You have yourself a wonderful Monday there, little woman. Alrighty. Love you. See you bye. <laughs> bye bye now. Alright. So that's that Loctite 660. This is what they refer to as a uh, press fit repair. It's made for really tight uh, tolerances and it just basically seals it up. Takes up that gap. Here's a, a 36 millimeter I got for, for home. It was cheap from Amazon and uh, allows you to uh, get in there and torque your axle. This is for Harleys, or for the Harleys. It'll work on spiders and stuff too, but that's not very long for a spider. Uh, what I use here on Harleys, I've had this thing for a while, and it allows me to get in a little, get the torque wrench in a better spot. I'm kind of concerned. Two things, it's 3 8 instead of a half inch, and um, I don't know, the torque, the very need of this thing to sneak in around the exhaust on a Harley may make it almost impossible to put a torque wrench on it. So we'll see how that works. This one, you know, you can be in there past the exhaust because you got to put the torque wrench at a um, nine degree angle. So we'll see. We'll try it. It was cheap. No, no huge loss. But this is supposed to be the bee's knees if you have a ever so slightly loose fitment between your uh, shaft and your new uh, front pulley on the spider. That stuff works slick. For some reason I thought it was going to be red. I've got some anaerobic sealer that's in a bottle very similar to this. I was expecting it to be red. It's, uh, it's kind of metal flaky gray. But there she is. It's all bolted up, torqued down to 150 newton meters, whatever that works out to be in foot pounds for you foot pounds people. I think it's 110, something like that. But uh, and I have it sitting here loose. There's no no tension on the wheel. I don't want any tension on that thing. I want it to sit there and float. Not that it was that loose, but you know, just take any any guesswork out of this thing. So it's supposed to take 24 hours to cure so with the belt super super loose I'm gonna leave it like this until this time tomorrow we'll tension the belt and take her for a rip I guess I'd go ahead and put these bottles the little body panels back on I don't need any of that I just need access to the rear wheel and as you've seen the wheels off the ground because I don't want any kind of no tension on it I don't think that matters because it's a tight enough fit and with that stuff in there that thing fit like crazy tight so it's gonna work it's gonna do the trick well guess what the day has arrived <laughs> show you how backed up we are even sales units are uh, backlogged in the in the scheme of things this is that 2019 uh, I was sitting here on the on the rack there for a bit or up on the hill so I'm going over this thing you know just doing prelim stuff I need to get an oil change kit some because I'm pretty sure they're not doing it seems that it has 349 miles on it and uh 
So I'm going over checking the tires are absolutely perfect. The belt's perfect. And I, <laughs> I realized that Ryan Ryan did the UVI on it. I was just to do the uh, alignment. So it's a good thing uh Good thing I knew it had low miles and it was very odd they didn't bring me an oil change kit down for it. <laughs> that could have been one of those deals where you where you drain the oil. Don't change if anything, yeah, just don't change them uh, early like this. Don't do not change them at no 300 miles, 600 miles, even a thousand miles. First service is at 3,000 miles. That's meant to be that way on purpose. Well, I don't let the oil run in my engines longer than that. Well, you're the, to put it bluntly, you're the first loser. There's reasons they have you keep the oil in there. Look at that. That dude just that way gave me a, <laughs> gave me a sign. He realized that he just about jumped on me. man i'm telling you i don't know what they gave this guy on trade i don't in other words i don't know what it's going to go for if we're in it super right or what but dude these dark edition asphalt grays are some kind of cool looking like really cool looking Whew. she is a looker some newcomers that come along go you always take the same around I've explained that so in case you're new to the channel I don't know why that buzz me bugs me to say new to the channel uh, too many people say that if you're new to watching my vlogs uh, I've explained this before I have a route that kind of takes me through a little bit of everything this one, because I did an alignment, I uh, I usually take a little rip up the highway here. It just gives me a long, a longer straight run. The uh, road has a little bit of runoff to it, but if anything's weird, it'll tell me in this little stretch. Plus, sometimes if there ain't no traffic around, I can get her up to speed a little bit just to make sure everything's all okay. These things are some kind of comfortable. I noticed that sensation riding uh, these that uh, I feel crunched up. I feel very roomy and free on the on the new RTs, and the ease of getting on and off of them is something else. Plus, you got that ever cool skateboard size floorboards on there that are easy to stand up on. You just go all over with your feet. No oh, BRP. They had that thing in the hopper for a while. There's no way you did that much that good. And uh, weren't thinking about that thing for a while. <laughs> Whoa, this thing's smooth. Look at this beautiful scene before me. I ain't been riding that Harley or I just happen to catch it in the same spot every time. Hope he's doing well. All is well. He needs to be doing well. He's one of our uh, corporate security dudes. Yeah, keep us safe, you know. Keep us safe and keep riding that hole. Jeez, these things are pleasing. So, so pleasing. Just that comfortable glide down the road. So, I guess maybe I shouldn't have gloated so much about that 2020. Because the next thing I'm going to say, <laughs> if, I was, if I was in the wants, needs, and desires for one sick looking uh, spider, Every time I talk about one of these things, you guys come start calling and going crazy and then one of the sales guys will come down and go, Smoke, quit talking about that spider, it's already sold. But as far as I know, this one's not sold. 
so uh, it just you know for the guys I get this little comment every once in a while he's always selling he's always selling I get nothing if you buy anything from us I get nothing <laughs> I seldom even get a thank you from the salesman that gets a commission off of me talking about a bike. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I'm not selling you. When I ride something that makes me happy, I talk about it. We don't even sell Harleys. And you know how I love riding my Harleys. So it does. If I was getting some kind of spiff or a commission or something, it wouldn't do me a whole lot of good to be gloating over Harleys. We don't sell Harleys. Hopefully that could change someday. I would really, I would really like that, but who knows? Oh man, if we were a Harley dealer, we would conquer the world. A big store like ours, it would be game over. Sorry, sorry local Harley dealers, but the game's over. <laughs> We do really good with motorcycles. I think even, well, I won't say the name. It's one of these big places that's going along gobbling up dealerships all around the country. I guess they came to us and the owner's like, uh, no. <laughs> Go away, little boy. Go gobble up somebody else. Devin. This is a used one, where would you like it? Roll on in. Should have kept my daggum mouth shut. Remember I told you there's a 16 in my future. But I have a fairly substantial issue here. I'm supposed to be working on this today. Um. I need that entire rack to do this. All that body work and all that stuff that comes off of these things, it's got to go somewhere. So, I may have to work on this thing on the ground tomorrow. That's not the end of the world. But uh, yeah, I got to have the rack. That takes up two racks. Kurt puts the bike on that rack puts all the parts on that rack and then works on it on his bench. Well, with this big spider rack, I can, well, the bike's gotta be on one. It's not movable like at all once you start this. And um, this rack is big enough I can do everything here. But this is also a GTL and there's a whole lot more pieces to it and you don't get paid any extra. Lucky me, there's just one flat ray. Well, there's two different deals there's one where you're just replacing forks and there's another one where you're doing i've never seen it's called situation one situation two i've only seen the one where we're doing the gears and the forks i forgot i gotta take a look at this i think it's a 2010 i'm not sure but the weird thing i was uh, grabbing this from upstairs and uh ryan goes wow he goes what are you doing to that i said that the guy thinks his master cylinders or as a slave cylinder's leaking. You can see somebody's been in there and incorrectly cleaning their diaphragm before they put it on. That's why I tell you guys to wash and dry them things off. That's what happens. They weep and it just eats everything. But uh, Ryan goes, Pops, we got three manual five speeds and all of them are gray. One of them's silver. But how weird is that? Three SM5s here all at once. And all around the same year. Houston? We might have an issue here. Not a whole pan. I got it ragged up. The whole pan down there is just full of... Some of it looks like it's motor oil. But the uh, slave cylinder is built into this clutch cover. I mean, you could have a diaphragm problem. It's definitely got, my concern is what is the bore 
of that piston look like? It almost looks like something's been beaten on that thing. See the etching down at the bottom of that thing? I don't know. I, th I think this, I think this cylinder, is, I don't know. Seems like you could remove it. You can see it's a separate piece. That's how you can see this inner, I can't get my fingers in there. You can see this is resting against that. I don't know, that whole thing's pretty weird. She needs to, need Otho to pull her apart and see where she's at. Bummer. But yeah, there was enough oil down there. I'm sure he's filled that reservoir up there a few times. It's pretty crazy. That little Grom, that thing sounded good. It's got like dual pipes coming out of the exhaust. I don't know what kind it is. It sounds real good. good. You ready to head northbound there, mama? Yes, please. Let's go ahead and get it done. It's so warm out here. It's warm. All righty. <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Getting out here a little late tonight. It's after nine. I knew it. Still bright. It'll still be. Man, you can still. I could come out here and cut the lawn. <laughs> At like 11 o'clock. I know. It's crazy how long the twilight lasts. I'll take it because during the winter, I mean, it is cold black at 4 yeah. o'clock. Yeah, during the winter, it's uh, it, it goes. <laughs> The light goes out before the sun sets. I know it. It does. He goes, wait a minute. <laughs> the light's out. Sun sets not for another hour. I know. What happened? You didn't pay the power bill yeah, during the winter. Didn't That's pay what the it is. Mother Nature Please bill or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's fun, fun to finally get to ride that, uh, that RT. That thing set up there forever. It's weird how our scheduling is. It probably just gets caught in the loop. We got the customer stuff going first, you know. And then the sales guys go, wait a minute, I got spiders to sell. Y'all yeah. need to get, so the sales department becomes our customer. Put me on the schedule, you know. But uh, anyway, back to K1600 tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. First thing I'm going to do, and I got that uh, um, the RT back on so I can uh, adjust the belt and everything. I put the panels on. All I got to do is adjust the belt. Um align the align it put the trailer hitch back on and uh take it for a test ride call them up and say that's a whole lot less than what it started out as they were in there today and i apologized to them for getting them all wound up thinking they're gonna have to have their transmission rebuilt they just seemed like oh well it's, it's nice that it's not as much as what we thought so <laughs> they are just absolutely adorable people they are but uh anyway i think on that on adorable people, we're going to roll out. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Thank you. I'm going to leave you, if this even shows up, but I'm going to leave you with the swallows out here swooping oh, the I bugs in our driveway. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye now.